Hey you guys! I am so happy because I just came back from the mall! <laughs> I finally, finally got a proper dose of mall and I feel... Yeah, I just feel really... I don't know, I feel like a new human. Sorry, my webcam is a little... Bloody. Yeah, there's a bit of moisture inside. I blame my damp house. Anyway, that story aside. So I got my hair fixed, just a little trim here and there, a bit of hair treatment, and as my sister says, it looks a lot more human now. <laughs> yeah, it was alien hair before this, I guess. And then I bought a crystal pendant. I was thinking of buying another crystal bracelet because I'm kind of into crystals. I love those things and I'll read all about it and I'll try to find out am I supposed to wear it on my left wrist or my right wrist so this oh no you're getting cloudy again please don't do that this new crystal is an aquamarine so I've read some good stuff about it and I'd like to try it the thing about crystals is you've got to find one that suits you yeah. yo I'm gonna tell you a funny story oh you're recording oh, yes oh shit I want to tell you a funny story. Okay. Uh, the other day I went to eat lunch. Wait, oh. brunch. Okay. Okay. See? It's so much clearer now. See? You didn't notice anything. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. So you went out to have lunch. So I've got my good mic. Maybe you can hear me a little better. But anyway, that was basically all that I bought and all that I did today. I walked and walked and walked and pretended to be rich. Oh, I gotta tell you a story. I was walking out and I passed by this diamond shop. Well, you know how I get attracted to sparkly, shiny stuff. And um, obviously diamonds, they are the meaning of sparkly and shiny they like you know shine bright like a diamond i was really drawn to this beautiful necklace and uh, it was a it was a white golden diamond and beautiful design and it full of hearts yes i was looking at that thinking i wonder how many thousands and thousands of ringgit that would cost no actually i wasn't thinking that i was thinking more along the lines of ooh that's so pretty ah and then I carried on walking and then this other diamond ring caught my eye which made me reverse and you know look at it again and the lady from inside the shop came out and she was like hi can I help you and I was like oh it's okay um I was just looking but whilst you're out here how much is that diamond necklace you know the one that I was admiring and she's like I think it's about 30 to 40 K and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's so affordable. Not. She actually went in and checked the price for me, even though I said that's not necessary. She came out and said, Oh, it's actually only twenty six thousand. Well, that's only marginally better, but still way out of my budget. I mean, I don't think I even have one credit card that could cover twenty six thousand. But yeah, no, we won't go there. And so we ended up having a little discussion about diamonds and why that little diamond ring is 92,000 instead of the necklace, which is 26,000. So she's telling me about carrots and size and blah, blah, blah. And then she offered to let me try the $26,000 necklace. I was like speechless for a second because normally people don't offer to let you try stuff unless they think you're going to buy it. Did I just give the impression that I'm gonna buy that necklace? Didn't I just say that that's kind of expensive? She invited me in the store. I had to reiterate that um, I don't think I'll be buying it like today or soon. And she's like, it's okay. Just come in and try it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like when else am I ever going to try a $26,000 necklace? um hello so then just taking it out and uh, making small talk and asking me oh are you looking for stuff for your wedding 
wedding? I'm getting married? <laughs> um, not quite happening anytime soon. Um, your engagement? Um, so you're dating? <laughs> well, let's just let her assume whatever she wants. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was thrilled to be having a $26,000 necklace around my neck for about two minutes, maybe. Honest to God, I was scared to touch it. Okay, you put it on and then, oh my gosh, it's stuck with my other necklace. Can you like un undo it? And then uh, can you take it off so I can actually see the necklace up close and not through the reflection in the mirror but yeah it was great fun i i don't know maybe models feel that way you know when they get to try on all this expensive stuff it was fun especially because i do not think i'll be buying that necklace anytime in the next five years or ever for that matter unless there's some rich super rich person who just pops out of the sky and decides to give me that diamond necklace it ain't happening. Nuh-uh. So yeah, that's my story of the day, or my stories of the day. And I've got to sign out because you can see my bed is full of clothes. It's crazy full of clothes. The floor is crazy full of clothes because I just took out another bundle that I've planned to put in the machine. So all I need to do now is, well, wait for the machine to be empty so that I can put in my second lot and possibly a third lot. Yeah, I'm ambitious this weekend. I sure am ambitious. Oh, I forgot to tell you that whilst I was at Estee Lauder, Ira let me try on this beautiful pink Envy Shine lipstick. It's a new shade. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks kind of like bubblegum baby pink, but quite pink. When she put it on me, I felt like Barbie. Really. <laughs> That's it everybody, I had better sign out and continue cleaning up my room. I think I'm a little too happy to be doing such mundane things like chores, but yeah, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So have a great week, weekend, weekday, whatever, and I will see you all soon.